Greetings from Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park. My name is Cynthia, and this video will focus on the Wahop General Store, which served the Chinese community from the early days of the gold rush until the early 1880s when a fire swept through Chinatown and most of the Chinese left Coloma. Let's step inside and take a look around. When gold was discovered in 1848, there were only two people from China living in California. Two years later, in 1850, that number had grown to 500. And five years after that, by 1855, there were 20,000 Chinese people in California. A good number of them trickled up into the foothills and made their way to the gold fields here in Coloma. The Coloma population of Chinese at any given time was typically one in five or 20%. They weren't treated very well. They were so different in so many ways how they looked, how they dressed, their language, their religion, their diet. As a result, this general store was much more than just a place to come and buy provisions. This served as a community center for the Chinese population here in Coloma. This desk served more than one function. It was a place where miners could come and sit down and write a letter home or have one written for them. It also served as the assayer's office. Chinese miners could come in with their gold from the fields and have the assayer weigh it out on a Chinese scale similar to this one. And then the assayer would calculate it on an abacus and make note of it in the ledger and secure the miner's gold in the safe in the corner. Now it served a third purpose as well. In the Chinese tradition, it was very important that your bones make it home to the mainland if you happen to die. So you could pay for insurance to be buried and then exhumed within six months to a year. In a very meticulous, very sacred process, your bones are scrubbed in a solution of water and brandy and then placed into a box that was designed for the longest bone in your body or the femur or in a basket and then shipped back home to China. And then in this way, the ancestral chain of souls remains unbroken. This traditional Chinese brick oven would be used to prepare hot meals for the miners out of ingredients from the pantry over here. And then the miners could sit down at this little table to eat. This colorful work of art is a door guardian, and it was a typical item in most Chinese stores, said to bring good luck and prosperity to the shop. This bank of drawers has each drawer marked with four symbols because there are four compartments inside each drawer. And this served as the Chinese apothecary for the traditional Chinese medicine. So if you suffered from some sort of an ailment, a sniffle or a sore throat or a stomach bug, you'd come here to the medicine practitioner who would put together an herbal blend. I find it fascinating that after so many years, some of these drawers still have some of the original plant matter that was used as medicine. This is the work table for the apothecary. And then beyond that, over here, we have the butcher block where the animal products would be processed and prepared for consumption. And to the right of that here, we have the rice grinding wheel. Now we're all aware that rice is a major staple in the Chinese diet, but aside from just eating the steamed rice, they also made rice flour. So they would take the rice grains and pour them into this hole here. And then using these wooden handles, they would grind the wheel and the flour would come down out of the spout. There's one final artifact I'd like to share with you and that's this wall hanging. Loosely translated to English, it reads, the gold is for the Chinese people too. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual behind the scenes tour of our Wahop General Store and that you had the opportunity to view some of our many other videos as we continue to explore the people and places here at Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park. Thanks so much for watching.